Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 10th May 2023, ISRO has achieved a big milestone in engine development which will power its future launch vehicles. It has successfully commenced testing of its new semi-cryogenic engine SCE-200. This engine is designed to power future launch vehicles and eventually the core stage of LVM-3. Now what I like about this test is its newly built test facility which you can see on your screen. The new facility looks more sophisticated and indeed it is more capable than other test facilities of ISRO. This newly commissioned semi-cryogenic integrated engine and stage test facility is located at ISRO Propulsion Complex IPRC at Mahindra Giri in Tamil Nadu. The test carried out by ISRO is the maiden integrated test on an intermediate configuration of the 2000 kN semi cryogenic engine. The intermediate configuration is also known as Power Head Test Article PHTA, which consists of all engine system except the thrust chamber. The test is the first of a series of tests which is planned by ISRO to validate the design of the propellant feed system including the low pressure and high pressure turbo pumps, the gas generators and the control components. The Liquid Propulsion System Center LPSC of ISRO has undertaken the design and development of this semi-cryogenic engine with 2000 kN thrust with Indian industry participation which will power the booster stage of future launch vehicles and works on liquid oxygen LOX kerosene propellant combination. The test on May 10th, 2023 is a major milestone before integrating the complete engine and its qualification. This test demonstrated the complex chill down operation spanning about 15 hours duration that was conducted successfully meeting all the required conditions for the engine start. After the chill down of the LOX circuit, the feed circuit of kerosene was filled and LOX was admitted into the gas generator by opening the injection valve. Successful performance of the test article helps derive the sequence of operations for further testing. The newly established test facility at IPRC Mahendragiri with a state-of-art PLC-based control system and data acquisition system is capable of testing the semi-cryogenic engines up to 2600 kN thrust and will support the subsequent testing and qualification of the fully integrated semi-cryogenic engine and stage. This test has demonstrated the successful performance of the test facility and the powerhead test article in the first attempt itself, which is a very big achievement for ISRO. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.